Last time we left our old friend, the uh, Tornado, it decided to just stop running and the battery couldn't jump start, it couldn't do anything. Changed the regulator and the alternator. Charged the battery over the weekend on a good charger that desulfurized it, whatever, all that type of stuff. So, kind of try to see if we can get it running. And, um, you know, well, they're going to fix the kickdown linkage. If it starts running, I'll fix the kickdown linkage today and we'll move from there. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hope at this point that it runs. All right, let's take a look at this bat, uh, this, uh, we're going to start like this candle. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Okay, so uh, we have an issue. God, I have bad lighting. I think it's a bigger issue is that the lighting kind of stuff. No. Um, so thankfully the owner has these, so I don't have to go scrambling online because I need to pull a uh, schematic for the wiring because somehow the other, something isn't talking to something and we're, we're not getting any voltage. So yeah, so we're gonna have to, do some testing. A few moments later. All right, it's it's really noisy and all, but I, I want to show this. So, I'm getting 14 volts now. I grounded. I grounded the alternator. This is uh, one of those things from the 60s. There was no wire on that alternator saying I needed to ground it. There was no connection anywhere showing it needed to be ground when I started working on this car. And I'm, you know, most of the cars I worked on in post 70. So that was an old school thing of grounding the alternator because usually the case grounded it. So I had a test wire and I grounded the alternator. So now we're getting 14 volts and we're charging the battery and uh, we're getting closer and closer to this thing being uh, an actual functioning car. God, is it noisy out here. That's really not the smoothest, but uh, this just shows when you take a little time and actually have, you know, the schematic. Because this is important that you have this to work on any car. This is wacky. It doesn't give you any color. God, that thing's rich. Um, but this is the only way you're going to be able to solve any of the problems is having a schematic. And uh, I think I need to uh, adjust the uh, mixture on this car. I'm going to pass out back here. So let me get to that and uh, yeah, we'll summarize this in a little bit. Okay, so... That major hurdle is now overcome. Now, uh, well now we've discovered, of course, that it, uh, the little radio hose is leaking because that's a, a bloody mess down there. I'm hoping that's a little radio hose because uh, they're old. So that's a that's a problem for another day. Uh, the owner the owner needs to move it because the business is going to get tented and uh, they have to get it out of this spot. So it can do that. I just wouldn't drive this anywhere right now until all the hoses are done and it needs a tune-up terribly I mean it is honestly running just all over the place so it runs though but it runs terrible uh, so we're making some massive progress so probably hoses do the brakes on it, he'll get some tires, and at least then it's a roller, it can bring it from place to place and be able to actually maybe get it someplace to be stored inside, or, so at least you can start doing more work on it. Nothing, in, none of the gauges work in the car, the temperature gauge doesn't work, nothing works. 
So that's a whole other set of issues, and I'm not going to try to tackle that out here. But uh, the big takeaway, and uh, hope that's uh, the big takeaway, of course, is uh, make sure you always have a schematic for a car. Uh, I'm going to do a whole thing on troubleshooting because that thing over there, mm, yeah. But uh, because that made me see that there was a ground supposed to be attached to this uh, alternator, which wasn't there when I started, which is probably why everything burnt up and probably that the regulator wasn't bad in the first place. So there's that. And uh, as always, you know, comment, love your comments. You know, like, subscribe, do all those things that shows. And uh, you know, if you have something cool, something fun, make sure you take it out you'll make someone's day maybe even your own and uh i'll catch you very soon